Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my awesome homemade strawberry syrup. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's real simple. All we're gonna need is some strawberries, some lemon juice, some granulated sugar, and a little bit of vanilla extra. Now, for my strawberries, my syrup actually, I like chunky strawberry pieces in my syrup. So because of that, I make sure I cut my strawberries a little bit bigger. Now, if you don't like chunky strawberry pieces, you can just cut yours a little bit smaller than mine's. And I freshly squeeze my lemon because fresh lemon juice is the way to go. Next, we're gonna pour all this strawberry in this pot. This is actually three cups of strawberries. And we're gonna add, let's add the sugar first. We're gonna add one cup of granulated sugar all over that. And we're gonna add our two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice all over this. Next, you're gonna add just this quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. A little bit goes a long way. We're gonna stir this to combine the ingredient. And then we're gonna put our stove on medium high. Now, when the pot gets hot, all these ingredients in here, the strawberry, the sugar, the lemon juice, and the vanilla extract is gonna marinate together, like marrying each other. It's gonna come together really well. We're just gonna cook that for about four to five minutes. And then, once it starts thickening, you can decide on your consistency. I like it a little bit wet because I usually save a big portion of mine for further use day after and day after and day after. And I'm gonna show you how I store mine. You see, the sugar is melting. Yum. This is gonna be so good, guys. Look at that. Look at all of that. Now, I do like when my strawberry syrup is red. And not because we add food coloring, but because we added lemon juice. Did you know that? I can't wait to show you what it's gonna look like when it's all done. So we're cooking, everything is melting together. And I'm gonna keep it on high medium high actually because I want this process to go by quickly so I can get to eat my yummy pancakes now don't put it too high and don't leave it unattended while it's on high look at that it's coming together so well I'm gonna put this on medium now medium heat so it can simmer it's 
So as you can see, this is something, if you're gonna leave it unattended, you need to put it on low heat, not high heat. But if you need to get it done immediately for those pancakes or waffles, whatever you're choosing to put it on, even your ice cream or your steak. Mmm, interesting. Steak. How about somebody try this yummy topping with some lamb chops? Lamb chops. Maybe I'll do that next. Lamb chops with strawberry topping. Look at that color. So, When this gets all simmered down and the sugar starts coming together to make it sticky like syrup is, then we're gonna turn it off. And I usually store mine in a mason jar for further use like tomorrow and day after and it's so good. I'm gonna show you guys how I store mine. Look at that color. Look at that. It's coming together so well. Now, while it's at this point, we need to reduce the liquid. You see all that liquid? We need to reduce it down so it's more pulled together like a syrupy consistency. Not like water consistency. We want it to pull together thicker. So we're gonna reduce it so we can dry out some of this water. Look at that color. Okay, yeah, I'm obsessed with the color. I am. Fun fact, did you know red is not my favorite color? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Pink is my favorite color. Look at that. Now, if you notice, I did not cover this with a lid. Do not do that. That will be a disaster in your kitchen. So don't do that. Or else, as you can see, this lava is flowing up. Imagine closing this lid. That's going to be red lava all over your stove top. That's a cleanup I don't want. Okay, it's coming down. Okay, guys, look at this. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at that. You see that? This is where it should be. Well, actually, this is where I like mine to be. Not too sticky because I want it to be able to use it day after and day after. I don't want it to be so sticky, I mean thick, that it's not able to be warmed up the next day and still give me a flowy consistency. This is the consistency I like. Look at that. I'm gonna turn my stove off now. And then I'm gonna show you how I store mine right after. I'm gonna show you where I store mine for future use. Look at this. Look at that, look at that. Yum. If you can see, now that is what a real strawberry syrup should really look like. Made from scratch. No more store bought syrup. You're never going to go back to store bought syrup, trust. Now, here I have my handy dandy mason jar. Yes, honey, I really love these jars. I'm a fan because my little friend here, 
keeps everything that I've kept so far in it nice and fresh and edible like it was just made day after day after the day after a whole week I like to store my my strawberry syrup in my mason jar because I don't want to get up every day and make strawberry syrup now with three cups of strawberry unless you're serving for your whole family which I don't all the time it's good to do it in one batch, save it in the jar, in the refrigerator, and every morning you take a portion and warm it up after you make your lummy pancake or waffles and put it on top and it's just as good as it was just made. Now, I usually pour mine in the mason jar while it's hot. tedious process but I get it done with a little careful hand look at that that red Look at that, a whole jar of strawberry syrup. Homemade, homemade, honey, homemade. Yes, we all can be Martha Stewart too. Perfect measurement, look at that. Okay. Now, because it's hot, I would never just close this up and put it in the refrigerator. I just let it sit out just like this, unopened, so it could cool. Once it's cooled, all the way cooled, then I would put my lid on and put it in the refrigerator. But, look at that. In less than 10 minutes, we made homemade, homemade, Fresh strawberries, fresh strawberries, yummy. Can't wait to put it on my pancakes, my gluten-free protein pancakes. And this is how I pour my finished product on my delicious protein pancakes. Look at that. It's still hot, guys. Look at that. Look at that. All that chunky goodness. Oh, okay. That's as much as I want. Now, when you have this syrup, you don't need nothing else. No powdered sugar. You could put powdered sugar if you want, but I don't like powdered sugar. And don't forget the ready whip. Look at that, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that gorgeous red. Look at that color. Yes, I'm obsessed with the red color. It stayed red. My red strawberries are red. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous. Ooh, yum. Ready to eat. Those pancakes are delicious, guys but pancakes for another day. And this is how I eat mine. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Mmm. Yummy. This is it. This is it. This is it. Well, guys, I'm going to go finish my breakfast. So, I'll see y'all next time. Ciao.